They are the size of a Lego, come in colors of the rainbow, and in seconds can turn America's most popular handgun from firing like this to this. No shit. Whoa. This is the gun range of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives, where an undercover agent shows how a tiny device called an auto sear can turn almost any gun into a machine gun. Holy moly. This is Houston, where a team of police officers tried to serve a warrant, body cameras on. Is he on inside? Can you step out of Houston, police? Is he on inside? 30 years experience conducting 2,500 previous major offender arrests couldn't help a cop named Bill Jeffrey. Dion, it's Houston police. Let's do this thing. Get the ambulance, get the ambulance. Your father didn't stand a chance. No, he was completely blindsided and there is nothing that any of them could have done to change the outcome. Everything was done the way it was supposed to. Um, but this, this guy um, ambushed them. What the officers couldn't see was the multi-convicted felon hiding in a dark apartment, holding a pistol that was turned into a weapon of war. In seconds, he fired 30 rounds. Officer Jeffrey died. A police sergeant also hit, crawled for safety, and survived. Sir, you good? You good? No, I'm here. I'm here. Let's go get Bill. Somebody get Bill. What was your reaction when you found out what this criminal had in his hands? Um, disgust, disbelief, anger. We do not live in a war zone. There is no need for us to have these automatic weapons on the streets of Houston, anywhere in the United States. But there is demand. Cheap, illegal pieces first imported from China were being sold easily over the Internet. When ATF and Customs cracked down, smuggling began across the southern border. Now, thanks to cheap 3D printers like this and how-to demonstrations on YouTube, making machine guns is a simple do-it-yourself project, says Earl Griffith of ATF. Now, I'm not computer savvy, but one of the guys says, it's easy, watch this YouTube. Watch YouTube, and in a matter of 15 minutes, I was able to do it myself the first time. He's not kidding. We searched YouTube and found this. What's up, YouTube? This is Alki here. A how-to demonstration. Once you get it 3D printed. That was still up on YouTube's platform. Bada bing, bada boom. That is how you install and remove a Glock Auto Sear. And getting hundreds of thousands of views, even though bada bing, bada boom, as he says, the guy was arrested by ATF months earlier, charged with possessing, making, and transferring machine guns. He's pleaded not guilty. YouTube took the videos down, right after we asked about them. Call them auto seers, switches, whatever. They are everywhere and spreading. The ATF sees 1,500 machine gun conversion devices last year. That is five times as many as the year before. Griffith says police departments across the country have confiscated modified machine guns, but many don't even know it. A lot of them have never seen some of these devices, like laying here. Right. And when we tell them about it, they go back into their evidence vault and they look and check and they find this stuff. More and more, this stuff is being found in the slaughter it leaves in its wake. This January, three more Houston officers were fired upon, all three wounded, when a career criminal opened fire with a machine gun style pistol. When they arrested him, straight up. they found more machine gun parts and 3D printers. In Sacramento this April, a massacre on the city's downtown streets. Six dead, a dozen injured. One of the guns in the shootout, according to police, had an auto sear or switch to make it fully automatic. All of these in the last 24 Four rounds, hours. Yeah. Nine rounds, 10 rounds, 15, 18 rounds, 27 rounds. Tom, that's like Tuesday. Yes. Tuesday in America we're having this? You should come here on the weekend. This is Shot Spotter. It locates gunfire for police by listening to a network of microphones across American cities. And more and more of those microphones are picking up automatic fire. The rate of fire, the number of rounds being fired in only a few seconds is very serious. Innocent bystanders are being hit by rounds that weren't intended for them. Since 2019, the incidents of automatic gunfire picked up by ShotSpotter have increased from roughly 400 to 5,600 just last year. 
Just spend a few moments at Kaylin Parker's monitoring station and you can hear the havoc. So all of these ones that I'm showing you here are full automatic incidents, starting from the least of three rounds, going all the way up into 30 rounds. 30 rounds? 30 rounds here in Baltimore, Maryland. In Baltimore. This was sometime on Tuesday or Wednesday. Yes, sir. This was 4 p.m. yesterday. When you sit here and listen to this and realize what's going out on the streets, what are you thinking? Um, you don't believe it until you hear it, um, and it's just sad. Unfortunately, with a lot of these shootings, there was a victim behind these. In fact, those sounds you heard from Baltimore were bullets hitting two people, including a 14-year-old boy. Back in Texas, Lacey Jeffrey is trying to do something in her father's memory. So we are just trying to get um, lawmakers to look into this and just change 10 words um, to make it to where these switches fall under uh, a felony offense. She wants Texas to treat possession of these modified weapons like the federal government does, as a felony. What's the reception, Ben? Uh, nothing. She hasn't heard back from a single lawmaker. Why do you think that is? Um, I think that, especially in Texas, with the Second Amendment, um, people are scared to touch upon it. I don't understand why this isn't important enough. We have lost so many officers so many civilians are even being caught in the crossfire. How many people have to be affected by these before you realize that a change needs to happen?